Crouch End is a trendy, mostly Victorian suburb of North London within the London borough of Haringey. It wraps itself around a confluence of ancient routes, mainly postcoded under N8. The name initially appears in 1465 Middle English records, end referring to its outer proximity as a backwater, whilst crouch referred to a wooden cross used as a signal post dividing the manor boundary which sat where the clock tower does now. bedroom property in this village of cafe culture is about 1300 per month. A second bedroom will take you up to about 1500 pounds. For three bedrooms you're looking at two and a half grand. For the outlay you'll enjoy pretty period properties and beautifully commanding views across the capital of the city. The schools are of a high standard and the buzzing community of creatives will provide inspiration for work and play. Pickled Pepper Books is a specialist children's bookshop, cafe and event space established in 2012. On most weekends you can meet an author or illustrator or enjoy various theatre performances. This 1895 built municipal clock tower stands up 63 feet inside the split of the Broadway. It was designed in the Italian Renaissance style, with all 1200 pounds of it commemorating the local benefactor Henry Williams, who was key in shaping the district. It formed a terminus for horse-drawn omnibuses, and a drinking fountain inset into its base was heavily used by both people and horses when clean drinking water wasn't so easy to come by. Twenty-seven-year-old New Zealander Reginald Urin beat 200 architects in a competition to design an assembly hall as practical and non-flashy as they could. The prize of £150 went to him for the 1935 Hornsey Town Hall on the Broadway. The building was declared surplus to requirements in 2000 and was placed on the at-risk register before a large sum of money had it grade listed. The site is currently being redeveloped mostly into 135 flats by Hong Kong based property developers. could say Crouch End's biggest drawback has also cemented its charm for visitors and the Crouch Enders who live here. It's never had an underground station and has been viewed as a poor relation to the other nearby leafy districts because of it. Former Salvation Army Hall Music Palace has been transformed into truly dynamic arts venue art house with the objective of challenging the status quo that divides cultures and instead wants to celebrate the modern diversity that reflects our lives and communities. They seek to attract a mixed audience where class, race, gender, sexuality and religion can be celebrated and discussed without inhibition.
Georgian's Tennis Club is a family-focused and friendly atmosphere using the best possible facilities for tennis at all levels. They run an academy with a performance programme for competitive players aged 7 to 18 years who want to take their game to the next level and be the best they can be. Muswell Hill and Crouch End train stations were born around the period of 1870, they gave each of their respective areas enough clout to section themselves off as districts independent from Hornsey. The railway line connecting the stations between Muswell Hill and Finsbury Park ran trains successfully for 98 years. However, wear and tear took its toll on the intermediate bridges across the line and they collectively fell into a poor condition of disrepair, which, in 1970, stopped this railway operation dead in its tracks. Two years later, the station buildings met with the wrecking balls and the track was pulled away along with most of the platforms. As of 1984, this disused railway space has been recycled into two and a half mile pedestrian and cycle route Parkland Walk. By 1990 it was a nature reserve and then officially declared so, making it the longest one in London. If you shop in Tesco, those 10 and 15 p's you use to buy bags help to pay for this area's upkeep. Mm -hmm. 